So what I'm going to do today is show everyone how to remove the backside of the emulsion from a piece of x-ray film, which is often double-sided, comma. This can cause scratching on one side when you develop it, and so sometimes people like to remove one side that has the scratches so that they can make a nice print. What I do is I take a piece of tape, I use this roller, and I line it up right at the edge here. See how it's just a tiny, tiny bit. You can see it's just, just a tiny bit over. And that seems to be enough with this kind of tape so that I can get a nice clean edge. Just gonna give you a demonstration. Measure it out just a little bit more than the piece was. I'm gonna lay it out and line it up. You now it's clear, but trust me, I'm lining it up so that it's just over the edge a little bit, like so. Like that. Go all around, do the same thing on the other edges. Now, some people like to use um, a gelatin bleach that doesn't run as much. I just use regular old Clorox bleach, or whatever name brand this is. You should wear some heavy duty gloves, and you should be wearing some kind of mask because bleach has a toxic smell, or do it somewhere that has good ventilation. Now, normally, you'll probably want to have clothes on that you don't want to get dirty, and um, I usually have my stove vent fan on, but uh, then you wouldn't be able to hear me, so I'm not going to do that this time. So I just take a piece of normal tissue paper, paper towel, and essentially take a little bleach and pour it right on the one side of the negative, just a little bit. I don't water it down at all, I don't do anything to it, it's just, just the way it is. And I take paper towel and just kind of spread it around all the way to the edges. Very similar to how you would remove one side of um, a Polaroid negative. And I've spread it on a little bit. Looks like it needs a little more. There you go. Not too much. And it's going to smell. Again, you guys should be wearing a vented mask of some kind. And you just kind of wipe, 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 and you'll just see basically black coming off of it as the emulsion comes off. You want to make sure to kind of make it clean. You don't have to, don't rub real hard, just real gently. It comes off pretty easy. Um, you want to get to those edges there. Um, I try, because I use paper, I try not to go too much farther past the edge of the plat of the tape because I don't want it to bleed under the underside of the paper and uh, touch the other side of the negative. But uh, it looks pretty clean and you can't see it very well but essentially it's sort of black and it actually sort of goes away after a while. The bleach sort of just destroys that emulsion to the point you can't even tell. It's going gray now. So it's about good. Then this is the last step. Um, I throw this in the trash. And then you take this piece of paper and um, very carefully you would want to remove the tape. Um, what I do is I give it a quick rinse first. Make sure that temperature of the water is not too hot, of course. I fold the paper under. Give it a quick pre-rinse so that I can get most of the bleach off. 
before I remove the tape. Like that, all over the whole thing. This removes most of the bleach. And then, slowly and carefully, and usually at this point I have to take my gloves off, take the tape, and the paper, and remove the tape, very carefully, and go around, and again, be sure not to let this bleachy part of the paper touch the negative and be sure that your hands and fingertips don't get any bleach on them that you're then going to get onto the negative. And continue on. Very careful not to splash any water that could be bleach or could have any bleach in it on the negative. That side and the final side here. Back side, all the way down. And then there you go. Now, as a last step, we run more water. And I want to run it again under the water. Make sure there's no bleach on it at all. Now if you're really careful, you can avoid getting water on the back side, but I don't. So I just wet the whole thing again so that it all can dry consistently at once. And you would then use your normal photo flow to clean it up, but that's essentially what happens. I think you can see that. I think that's in frame. And it's nice and clean. So that's the technique. So it's nice and clean now. Just wanted to quickly show the difference between the emulsion and the negative, um, just so you could see. So if you notice, there's just a little left, unfortunately, um, on the second negative I had to do. Um, but as you see, it's a little bit of a different color, and it simply wipes right off. So it's pretty easy. And that's it. This is the second negative. Unfortunately, on the other side, it looks like I have a scratch. So I may not be able to use this, but I really like the density of this negative. So maybe I'll try to make it work. That's it. Um, the only thing I don't like is the light fall off on the corners, uh, which is due to, unfortunately, being sold a lens that I uh, was told covered 11 by 14, but it does not. Uh, but that's okay. Um, I'll still make use of it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. So, I just wanted to do a little wrap up here. Uh, these are my negatives hanging to dry. Um, I obviously don't have a dark room or I would have done all of this work in my dark room. Um, it does seem like the, the negatives are pretty good here. The sky looks really good in this one. Um, and uh, the density is okay. Uh, and the density in the second one is a little bit better, I think. But, um, uh, as I noted earlier, there's that scratch there. So I may not be able to use this one, uh, but I may crop it to a, to uh, another size, um, but it'll probably be a contact. I just wanted to mention that um, you should always use precautions when working in an environment like this. Uh, obviously, I would be working in a dark room if I had one. Um, you notice there are um, kitchen things in here because it's my kitchen. Uh, you can see that there are spoons and things here, and uh, this is the stove, etc., and dishes drying. Uh, I'm very careful and cautious when I'm working in this environment. Uh, you do not want to get any kind of chemicals on any of your food preparing items or any surfaces. Uh, I, take, uh, I take care to clean the surfaces very thoroughly. Um, they're very clean uh, and I remove any kind of chemical that I can uh, from these surfaces. I try to avoid getting anything on them in the first place. If you're the type who ends up flinging uh, liquid everywhere, and uh, it, you know a piece of, of bleach could fly up on here or anything else that you might be using. Um, you know you do not want to work in this environment, and um, you just want to um, be smart about it. So uh, even though I happen to do this example in my kitchen, 
Uh, I do not suggest you do that. And um, I will make mention that uh, I cannot be held liable for any mistakes uh, that you make or by following my example. This is simply a tutorial and uh, meant for informational purposes only. So just got to cover my butt there. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it valuable.